hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this in this video we're going to continue with our course on a lang chain so basically in this course we're going to go ahead and learn how to build a simple predictive model using lang chain so this is going to be a complete course on lang chain that's going to move you from uh, absolute beginner to basically intermediate level so basically in this tutorial uh, we're going to go ahead and learn how to build a predictive model using open ai and lang chain so in the last row we went ahead and build the build the build we did the environment setup where we set up the different uh, development environment to install Jupyter Notebook and all that. So if you can check out the last video, you can check out the last video where we went about the whole setup of the development environment. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and build on top of it, and you're going to build on top of that knowledge by building a simple predictive model using OpenAI and Langchain. So let's get started with it. So this is where we left off from last time, uh, where we basically imported, uh, imported our .env and we simply imported OS, and then loading our virtual environments, right? So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and now use this code right here to be able to uh build uh, basically build on top of this code to get a predictive model using open ai and lang chain so what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm going to go ahead and import a couple of things so i'm just going to keep a comment right here and i'm going to say import lang chain just like that and just let me go ahead and import the, the following so i'm going to say from lang chain the lang chain dot llms right you're going to go ahead and import open uh, ai so this is going to be open ai and there's simply uh basically open ai and just press enter so that's what we need to do uh, to import and that's all we need to do so to press enter right there to run the code so you can press shift and enter to run the code or you can also just go here and run the code all works okay so good so once i have that input i'm going to go ahead and create a simple llm and what is what's basically an llm an llm stands for large language models so we're going to create a simple large language model object that we can use to make build a predictive model so i'm going to say llm uh, equals to i'm going to say open ai create an object of the open ai uh or like class that we just imported and in here we need to pass in a couple of things pass in the open ai key so i'm going to say open ai key and this is going to be our open uh open ai basically key right here so i'm going to copy that and simply let me just change the name of this a bit so let me just say open ai and then underscore uh api key so that's it i'm going to copy that and simply use it right here so i need to rerun this again so uh, yeah so that gets updated. So once I have that done, I'm just going to press enter. So we have created our LLM. So now you can go basically use the LLM to make predictions. So we say prediction is going to be equals to LLM dot, uh, we can say LLM dot predict. And then pass in this, ask the question. Let's say what uh, is the largest city in Africa, right? So let's ask it what's the largest city in Africa and then simply uh, run the code. So once we run it, it's going to take a bit of time because it has to make some requests to uh, uh basically open ai apis but once you get that re uh, response back we can just go ahead and print it and you can see it gave us the response back so you can see uh the largest city in africa is cairo in egypt right with a population of nine million people right so that's basically the, uh, the, re the response we got back so you can say print just to get rid of those new line characters right there so you can see that's what we have so let me just say we can also strip it to remove any line so just say strip to remove any uh new line character so we get we don't get uh the space okay so you can see right you have it the largest city in cairo is uh the largest city in africa is basically cairo in egypt with a population of nine million people right so that's because how we can build a simple predictive model using open AI. so these results are actually coming from chat gpt right so now you can pass in any more any question that you want in here it will you get back a prediction or a result okay so let me just copy this right here uh duplicate it here and then let's ask another question let's say what's the uh, uh let me just see uh, let's see what question we can ask it. Okay, I don't think it has any information of current issues because Charlie doesn't have uh, current uh, information of current issues, and that's one of the problems that Lang Chain solves, right? And we'll look at that as we go along. So let's ask it a very, uh, let's say, what's the fastest guy in the world? Uh, that's a bit current issue. So let's ask it, uh, what's the largest continent? Or yeah, what's the largest, uh, largest? Okay, let's ask the largest planet, uh, planet in the solar system so what's the largest planet in the solar system and you can just run that and this right uh, we can print uh, and they say prediction and then run that so you can see the largest planet in the solar system is jupiter and that's right 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 so if you guys who did a bit of geography or astrology in high school probably know the biggest planet in the solar system is jupiter so that's absolutely correct so basically that's how you can simply do that uh, basically a predictive model using chat gpt so that's so simple to do right that's basically like one line uh, yeah, basically two lines of code uh, let's say three lines of code and basically we are talking to uh, a large language models like uh, chat gpt so you can see the power of lang chain is really really powerful 
and it can be used to do a lot of stuff so that's basically how you can build a simple predictive model with chat gpt so guys that's all for this course uh, all, all i wanted us to talk about in this uh this video actually not the course uh, in the video so this is all for this video so the next video we're going to go ahead and look at uh, uh basically uh, let me just see what you're going to be looking at in the next video in the next video we're going to be looking at chat models and how to work with chat, chat models in uh basically chat, uh, with a uh, long chain right so basically that's all we'll be covering in the next video we'll be talking about chat models so that's guys thank you for watching so much and if you guys have not subscribed to the youtube channel please kindly consider subscribing to the youtube channel and see you in the next course we're going to be looking at chat models uh, using long chain and open ai so thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe